Salutations everyone, my name is Fucat, and today I'm going to show you guys how to mod Unity games. So I have this game called the Teddy Bear, and as you can see from the main menu, it looks pretty substandard. So I'm going to show you guys the textures that are in this game, since I've already played through this. And we're going to be working with Unity Asset Bundle Extractor once we're done with this. So, log on here. So here's a Windows XP screenshot. There's a door over here that goes to state one. Okay. Oh, and there's the monster. Oh no. We're going to go ahead and avoid it. And then there's a picture of a cat. Now, what does it say? Let's go ahead and see. Chloe. We can go to thepurgeonkittens.com. Well, I'm not going to do that for this video, but I'm simply just going to show what's all in here. This is pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and die. <laughs> Dead. So clearly, this is a frivolous game. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to mod all of this. So we have this dead screen. We have the Windows XP textures. We have the textures of that monster. We have the Chloe photo. So I guess we're going to be messing with all of that. So yeah, we're going to quish game. And we're going to go ahead and wait for OBS2. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and launch up Firefox because that's what we're going to be using. Unity Asset Bundle Extractor, that's what we're looking for. So we're going to go to GitHub. Do not go to clone or download. I know that's a pretty typical thing to do on GitHub, but we're going to go to the 7 daystodiecom website link right here. And over here, we're going to download the latest update. Since the latest update tends to work with later Unity games, so that's going to be this one right here. So that's going to be downloaded. Should be downloaded by now because the internet is fast out here. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and go to WinRAR and extract this. You do have to download WinRAR for this, so make sure you do that. I don't know who hasn't done that. Uh, okay, so now we'll go ahead and go to the Asset Bundle Extractor from the 64-bit folder. And we're going to go to File, Open, and um, I'm already on this. I just wanted to see the textures beforehand. But we're going to go to FooCat101 for Dummies because that's the folder that I made for this tutorial. We're going to be going to the game, which is Teddy Bear. Go to the data folder, and we're going to simply do... You typically do the last asset folder, but the textures aren't in there, so I'm going to go to one asset. You're going to go through all the asset files until you find the textures that you want to mod. So here are the textures. We're going to go all the way down. This is texture 2D. Remember that this is the type that you're looking for. Go all the way down. Press shift. Left click on the mouse. And we're going to go to plugins. We're going to do export to PNG. And we're simply going to make a folder outside of the page. And we'll just call it textures. You can call it whatever you want, but it's easier to call it textures. So now that's exporting. As you can see, I'm a pretty straightforward teacher. So now we're going to go ahead and go to the game, go to textures. And here are all the textures right here. We got the bunny. We got the Chloe cat photo. Um, there's the Windows XP one. You can even edit the title screen right here. Now, I don't see dead, so that's probably in another asset file. So for right now, we're just going to be editing the three photos. So we're going to go ahead and go to Photoshop, or if you want to use a free software, you can use GIMP for this as well. But for me, I prefer Photoshop. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and mod this one. Pretty easy. I already have all the folders really lined up here. So we're going to go ahead and go to my pictures folder. I already have everything ready, so we're going to use Fat Cats for this. Take away the bunny, and we're just simply just going to save over. So it is a PNG file. So you're going to save over. Yes, replace. So that's good to go now. So now we're going to go ahead and start with the next one, which is going to be, let's go ahead and see. Great. I don't know why I didn't leave a folder open for that. Technicalities. Hang on. Chloe Cat. So this one, uh, let's see. I haven't really thought of what this photo is going to be. 
I guess it'll be final image. Yeah, there we go. So again, save it over. We're gonna repeat the same thing with the Windows XP folder. So let's see, go back to it. Simply, we're gonna go to here and we're gonna use this as the desktop folder. Um, I mean, we don't really have to click on the image every time. You can just save it on there because the name's already there. And now all that's good to go. We can go ahead and close out of Photoshop. And we're going to go back to 64-bit asset bundle extractor. File, open. Go back to the data folder. We're going to go back to the asset files, which the one I clicked on was one. Go back to type. Texture 2Ds. We're going to select all of these again. Plugins. Batch import this time instead of export to PNG. So now you're going to go ahead and go to textures for this and select the folder and it should replace those textures. Hopefully I'm making this straightforward so far. That's the sort of mentor that I am. Alright, so now we're going to be saving these not in the data folder, we're going to save it outside of the data folder. But yeah, this is the shared asset one file that we were messing with earlier. But now we have a replacement for it. So now we're going to go ahead and go to game. Go to, uh, apparently they made one for zero assets, even though we never messed with those. And Unity default resources. We're going to move those to the data folder. We couldn't do it before because it, it would just mess it all up. Replace. And we're good to go from there. If you're not following with the commentary, just follow it visually. And we'll go ahead and see if this game works. Alright. And it worked just as planned here. Very easy. We got the <gasps> on the laptop now. And bed looks normal. We're gonna go back to the stage level. There's me. <laughs> okay. And now, the final image over here. Thank you for 10,000 subscribers, everyone. I love you all. So yeah, there's something wrong with that character. He won't move unless I get to a close distance. But yeah, this is pretty much the epitome of basic modding. If you want to mod the audio and the videos inside the games, that's a bit more convoluted because it's going to evolve Notepad++ and Unity. So that's going to be for another video once I've known it by heart because I still haven't mastered it. It's a bit more advanced, and if you mess up one step, then none of it's going to work at all. <laughs> I can't. So yeah, this is pretty much a sample to a tutorial series that I'm doing for Patreon. If you guys want to support the Patreon just for this sort of stuff, then I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay awesome, kitty savers.